Hello everybody! Today we're taking a look at this Nitro 50 from Acer. It's a pre-built system. I have seen some reviews of this case on YouTube. Some people are claiming it's bad. On this video we'll take a look at it. This is the latest model with 3060 Ti. Let's find out how good this pre-built system is. You see the box? Nothing special. How it looks like? The foam is there. As far as I see on the latest model, nothing has been changed. Computer around 8 kg. Nitro 50, Nvidia, Intel, Nvidia. What does it say there? Frostblade, Frostblade cooling, Wi Fi 6 certified. How it looks from the back. I believe this is a blower style GPU since they have that uh, symbol there. A regular audio jack, one exhaust fan, power supply. Looks like they haven't fixed the power supply place. As you see here, you got the honeycomb pattern here. On top of it, you have the power supplies uh, mesh. If it looks like it's choking. We'll see on the temperatures how it's looking, but they could have done much better work on here. All right, let's look. Nothing on the front intake. This place is illuminated with red uh, RGB because there's a red light strip inside. Okay, we have the honeycomb design there. They seem to really, really like that. The screws wasn't loose. I took, a, I took it out before. Do you want to know my honest opinion? Normally when a pre-built system is shipped, there should be this bubble protection layer. I will show you how it looks like. Because I'm uh, doing another test on another pre-built. This is the material. Normally they would put it here under the GPU like this and this. So during the shipping GPU card wouldn't get damaged. They just done that way. We have our power supply, nothing fancy of uh, motherboards, H470, we have M2 from Kingston, and the cheapest RAM sticks you can ever find, 1666 megahertz. But cable wise they done a pretty nice job. So we have two fans, we have the CPU fan which is spinning up to 4500 RPM and the exhaust fan is spinning up to 3500 RPM. They got some pretty powerful uh, fans here. Other than that, there's nothing special. It's how you would expect a pre-built system to look. We see the white LED strip there. That is just single color, which is red. Enough with the showing of the case. Case is very light, it's regular case. It's actually a quite nice case, except the fact that they could have added the intake fans. They want to go with this battlefront look. I don't know. I like the case, but I'm not gonna expect temperatures to be amazing unless you go 100%. Let's screw back the side case because we don't want any kind of manipulation on the test and people who are gonna purchase this case are not gonna use it with the case door being open. So let's do that part and we shall prepare the set and we'll move on with the temperature test and the gaming test and everything else. We're gonna plug in our cable and we are gonna start the computer. We will be doing some benchmarks. We'll check the temperature. We will check the noise levels. From there, we're gonna draw a conclusion if it's worth to buy Acer Nitro or not. Okay, we've done two tests. The first test is done on auto and the next test is done on full fan speed. Nitrosense is the software 
or you can control your fans there's two fans as you see the speeds we have three presets auto maximum and custom it's very basic to use you see your temperatures see your gpu temperature gpu temperature is changed by the msi afterburner here You will ask me if this computer is loud, under 100% fan speed, it can get a little bit loud, that's why I done a test on stock versus 100% full speed. Here you can see when you have everything on 100% how fast the temperatures are dropping. Yes, the sound level is not pleasant, unfortunately. But for the price, what you're getting is definitely a nice machine. Enemies need killing! Enemies! And a point well taken. To battle! To battle! Enemies need killing! They're alive. They're gonna finish us off if we don't find weapons.
Deploying lethal. And my opinion, we come to the conclusion. This computer costs one thousand four hundred dollars. Is it worth it? Definitely. Yes. From the sound aspect, maybe it's not the most pleasurable, but you can always have the fan speed on. 50%, 70%. It does get a little bit more warmer than other systems, but I had a great gaming experience with this computer. I definitely recommend it. Budget is something you are aiming for. Thank you for coming in once again, guys. We got two more pre-built systems that we're gonna make review of. We got so much stuff going on for the channel. Unfortunately, since I have another job also, I can't put out content that fast. Let's get those likes and subs. And see you on the next one. Let's go.